and just being out here and seeing the amount of stuff that people throw away is horrible. As volunteers put it, you'd be amazed at what you could find at Jordan Lake today. I found everything from like shotgun shells to plastic dolls to, to whiskey bottles. Clearly, we're not talking about just glass bottles or beer cans littered about. Basketballs, we could outfit the entire state school system with basketballs. But large items too, hot water heaters, propane tanks, and much, much more. We found one tractor tire so big we had to use a heavy-duty pickup truck to drag it out of the woods. Um, weighed 400 pounds. Full throttle ahead. That's why more than 300 hikers, boaters, and kayakers hit the shoreline. This is Fran. Um, I think we're heading in the right direction now. A well-coordinated effort of volunteers young and old. This is amazing part here. We're, we're not spending any state money to do this. This is all volunteer effort. Bagging up and cleaning up more than four tons of trash. That's not including this massive pile of roughly 600 tires. We didn't expect that we were going to pull this much trash out, that we've actually become dumpster, li uh, dumpster limited. <laughs> so where does it all come from? Well, for example, if you throw, let's say, a bottle out of your car anywhere within the Haw River watershed, eventually it's going to end up right back here. Environmental engineer and Clean Jordan Lake co-founder Tom Colson says it's a growing problem for the fish, the fishermen, and the state. Is at some point this state or the state of North Carolina is going to have to pay to restore this lake because if the trash is allowed to continue to collect it, it will cause an ecological disaster. Reducing that future liability today, one bottle, one trash bag, one dumpster at a time. Charlotte Huffman, NBC 17 News.